Hi, welcome to another DCAC video. Uh, today I'm going to be tying a snake fly. I've not done a film of this before, so I thought uh, somebody's asked me to tie some, so I thought I might take the opportunity to to have a go. So this is this is how I do it. Not necessarily how uh, anybody else should do it, but. I don't tie a lot of these, and this is what I've come up with. The hook is a size 10 B175, he's asked for barbed. The thread is Kevlar. Kevlar because I need to uh, bind the braid down to the hook and this is the best this is the best thread for that I'll start the thread off snip the waist end off I'm going to put some open turns on I'm going to start at the eye this is the braid it's just 20 pound back in line as you can see, I've uh, I've coloured the end orange because I'm going to leave it stuck out at back at hook to make a hot spot. Also, he's asked for them 50 to 55 centimetres long, so you can see the mark. I've marked it at 55 centimetres. Start off at the eye, make sure the braid's on top of the hook. The Kevlar, the thread is very, very thin. Also, when you're tying these, I've found if you have a lot of thread, I've got like three or four inches of thread instead of trying to keep it tight up to hook. It's easier to wind because it doesn't catch on this. So keeping it on top of the hook. Let's go up and down a couple of times. I don't I don't thread it through eye hook. A because the twenty pound braid won't go through the high of a uh, B one seventy five. And B, I've never had one come out, I've never had a complaint about them coming out, I can't pull them out. So what I'm doing now is just splitting the threads on the braid. Just to make them stick apart. The uh, the rabbit is black. Well, you can see that or not. I split it because he's only asked for 55. They're only small snake flies. It's very close to the end. About an eighth of an inch. When we tie this in, we need to make sure it's tied on top. in every part that we tie in otherwise the fly will look deformed I'm putting a lot of pressure on and that's why I use this thread if I put this sort of pressure on a uni thread or a simple fly it would break the thread so every time I'm going to tie this rabbit in, I'm going to seal it. Don't know if you can see that or not. It's just a jar with uh, super glue in bottom. I'll just dip the bodkin in there. And just a little spot of super glue on there. And I'll have to wait while that dries. 
if I fold it back the rabbit will stick to the super glue which we don't want Okay, that's dry now. I'm going to fold the rabbit back. Put a few turns in front of it. So hopefully, we'll hold it in that position. Dubbing is uh, ice dubbing in black. You can use any dubbing you like, you can use any rabbit you like, you can use any colours you like. The method for me is always the same. If you want longer then just make the rabbit longer. You find that with longer ones you get a lot of follows and a lot of nips and tucks and no hookups. So that's why the guys ask for the shorter ones stub it on, not too thick just a touch more right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift the braid up and put half a dozen turns in front of the braid. This will help it give it some support. Okay, now fold the rabbit over. We need to find it helps if you wet it, if you wet the rabbit, it's easier to separate and get it in the right place. On top of the hook again. Get it sitting right. Right, so that's the length we want. You can see that. I'm just going to snip that braid off. Just give yourself three quarters of an inch. And we can wait finish. That's the back hook uh, already done. So we can we, we, we can do it by hand. But I use a quite a large with finish tool. Snip the uh, thread off. Again, I'm going to wet the rabbit and I want to give it a dab of super glue. Right, we're done with the back up now. The front up, any, any, any hook you like. I'm using a uh, it's got booby eyes on this, so really you need a size 10. You can use an 8 if you want. This is a, an elite size 10 barbless. It doesn't matter. I'm going to snip the barb off anyway. Well, I'm going to snip the end of the hook off. Um, we've asked for single hooks, so the back one will be the performing hook. 
Okay, nice and tight. This Kevlar again. Because it's got booby eyes, you don't have to start at the eye of the hook. So that's where we're going to tighten booby eyes on. So, to the back of the hook again. Open threads, open turns. Leave yourself um, that's possibly just three sixteenths of an inch, or possibly four centimeters in uh, in your money. We're we'll back to the to the rear hook. And what I do. I'll show I'll, I'll I'll turn the camera around in a minute and show you. I'm gonna really bind that down now so it don't pull out. of the vice an elastic band I'll turn I'll try and turn the camera around and show you it's fixed to the vise and then the hook round the back of the hook which holds it in position so the back hook is held in position it's nice and straight while I work on the front one okay so I've tied it in thread to the back I'm going to split the rabbit again. You need to be critical. This needs to be critical. Because you don't want the rabbit tight. You want the braid tight. So you need to give it a bit of slack. Otherwise, when you hit a fish, the rabbit will break. I'm going to define the position where I want to tie it in. Is there? Bind it down again. We're quite two turns. It's only th thin. This Kevlar stuff is only thin. And then another dab of super, super glue. Keep everything out of the way. Leave it to dry for a few minutes.
this, okay. Same procedure, a few turns of thread to hold it back. You like which I'm dubbing. You can put what you like on You can put bigger tractors on the Just the method that's similar, whichever ones you do. Same, uh, same dubbing. Pull everything back. You're gonna need, you need quite a bit, quite a bit of room. Pull the rabbit forward. Before, make sure it's on top. Now, lift it up, cut it as close as you can. And wind that down. As I said, you need three sixteenths of an inch. Even quarter of an inch. Now I'm going to whip finish that because I'm going to change the thread. The reason I'm going to change the thread is because the Kevlar thread will cut the booby eyes. Change this red to um, black Semperfly 12 volt. Out at the eye, secure the thread. Cut off the waist, and right to the eye, booby eyes. Uh, this is 7mm black, about 12mm long. Make sure you get it in the middle, two or three turns around. It's not quite. And you'll just turn them in a clockwise direction. to the eye, figure of eight, put some rabbit trap there, right, back to figure of eight, Don't trap the rabbit. Right, so I always come under. I think it helps to hold it two or three times. And then we're back to super glue. And all the super glue bubby eyes. Split it down with the super glue in top. Turn it upside down, super glue underneath, just helps to hold them, stop them spinning around the hook. I'll just leave that for a few seconds and we're going to have a favourite, favourite trout colour, famous black and green. So we're going to put some green for it. The Fritz is Dave Downey. 
David Downey fly tying and it's um, definite advantage 15 millimeter F up and it's translucent green glow yellow you use any fritz you like but I like uh, I like the Dave Downey fritz it's good stuff it's not too thick the core is really thin Tie that in. We don't need a lot of this. Once you wet it, pull it back. Off on, so it's on top so you can see it so I'm going to cut it in a minute I need to cut it pretty pretty tight Super glue on thread. A few winds round. And we finish. Cut off the thread, and that's it. That's your uh, 50 centimeter black snake. Just go out a bit so you can see it. See the red tag. Hope you enjoyed that. Look forward to dying a few more in the winter for you. And uh, if you give me a like if you want, follow if you want, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you again shortly. Thanks very much. Bye.